Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, this time, we're going to be reviewing Polaroid Originals. One step two, iTab camera. Uh, just a few thoughts. This camera is amazing. It's really, really cool. Um, it takes um, film, which is like liquid gold. So that's why I'm not going to be taking uh, pictures with the um, camera today. Because, you know, I... My channel isn't monetized, and if you'd like to help me get this monetized, a little shameless plug, it'd be really nice if you hit subscribe and, uh, like, yeah. Alright, well, now that that's over with, I am going to bring you a comprehensive review of Polaroid One Step 2. So, for my camera, I decided to go with the white one. I just believe it looks closer to the original ones that came out, like, 20 to 40 years ago. So, in the box, it... You open it up, and you get everything that comes with it. So basically, this is not what it looks like when it um, is uh, opened originally, but this is just all the remnants of what was left, because I already uh, opened mine like a dummy i should have waited for this video but whatever so that's basically what the box looks like but it's very it's way more organized and it's uh everything's in the package like this was the package for the actual camera um yep and the box is pretty sturdy it's um i got it at best buy and um it's pretty cool that's why i kept the box i'm pretty sure um i don't know i i keep all my boxes of like a technology that I use. I just, um, I just like it. So the best thing to do is to store your, uh, Polaroid film in the fridge. That's what I do. Because that's the best way to keep your Polaroid film from not going bad. That's just a little tip I uh, found out from, um, someone that actually does cameras. I, I, I'm not the greatest with cameras. I'm using my phone right here. As you can probably tell, it's really shaky. Um, yeah. So, the film is, as I said before, like liquid gold. It's about $16 per 8 pictures. So, that's like um, $2 a shot. Right? 8 pictures. Yep. There you go. I I got an A in algebra for something, at least. <laughs> so, yeah. So, the film comes out like this. Actually... This is a new one. I don't want to. I don't want to take out the film. But yeah. Um. The the film comes out of here. You take off the protective silver, and you plug it into the camera. And I'll show you in a second. So this is the camera itself. And as I was saying, this right here, right where the Polaroid is, you flip this switch right there, this way, and it drops down. And you slide your film right in there. So it's pretty it's pretty self-explanatory, it's pretty easy, but it could get you know annoying sometimes. So um this is just what it looks like. You put the straps right there. I couldn't figure them out. Uh I don't actually look up a video for the straps, but it's it's not that bad. It's they're they're pretty easy. It comes with a manual one inside of it. So with the thing about shooting with this. See how the um what you look through is a little bit to the um a little bit to the left. Sorry, I just had to make sure it was to the left of the actual camera. So whenever you're shooting at something, you want to offset it to make sure that you're getting what you want. Um, this right here, the the plus, it says for the ISO. You usually want to keep it on the plus, and the um and right that big red button. This is take a picture. Which is kind of self-explanatory. So from the back, the big switch is on and off. That's to charge it. And that button down there, this looks like a cross through a um, lightning bolt. Uh, that's to cancel a flash. You don't usually want to do that unless you're in a very sunny setting. So, yeah. And the, it's pretty, the camera looks very aesthetic, if I do say so myself. It looks pretty cool. And yeah. So, would I recommend this to someone? 
if you really like old photos and you like uh, what they look like, how just like vintage it looks, this is perfect. Perfect for you. Perfect for gifts. Perfect for really anything. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. Um, so, thank you for uh, watching my video. This is a little bit shorter than my other tech reviews, but, you know, I just wanted to give you guys quick information and my opinion on it. So, peace out everyone. Have a great day.